so after uh, after three now four years of uh, the Troika regime and the memorandums, the social and economic situation in Greece has been deteriorated uh, rapidly. Uh, that uh, now we can say that Greece, uh, in reality, it is under uh, the Greek people live uh, in conditions of a humanitarian crisis. Uh, there are many small or bigger uh, numbers and facts that they can demonstrate uh, that. Uh, if I want to give uh, two examples, one it is uh, the number of unemployed uh, people in uh, Greece and the number of uh, poverty, the official numbers, which is much smaller than the, or not much, but smaller, they don't reflect the real situation. Okay, uh, the, officially the unemployed uh, surpassed uh, 1 million three hundred and fifty thousand uh, people uh, two months ago, this was the end of uh, uh, 2012, uh, and 60% uh, of uh, the youth uh, is unemployed, and uh, a vast number of this uh, percent of these uh, people, I mean of the all the unemployed, uh, they are long-term unemployment, which means that they remain unemployed more than uh, one uh, year. Um, so this one fact uh, that has many consequences su such as uh, that they cannot uh, have access to the public uh, health uh, system because in order to get access in Greece you have to uh, have a hundred days of work the previous year otherwise mm -hmm. don't renew your, uh, uh, your this kind of public um, right. Um, so this one um, situation that brings also more than 27% uh, of the Greek uh, people under the poverty line, uh, officially. Yeah, it was always in Greece. It was about uh, something between 23-24%. The 27% poverty line reflects the research of the Euro of Eurostat. Uh, of uh, 2010 2011. So you don't have the last one or two years that it is the most uh, rapid, let's say, the, 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 the effects of the crisis that became more uh, obvious. Okay, and uh, it was this period, the last two years, that uh, the crisis, the, the economic um, shortages uh, hit stronger the Greek uh, people. So you can imagine how much bigger. Uh, it is maybe it's closer or more than 30 percent of the people under the poverty line, and this uh, affects uh, very seriously the children. Okay, uh, from our work that uh, we do with the social health centers, uh, which they do, it's part of the solidarity movement uh, that uh, has been built in uh, Greece by. The um, we have uh, come against uh, this um, uh, this uh, phenomenon, let's say, that of uh, malnutrition of children, mm -hmm. and uh, the reason being that, uh, especially of babies, the reason being that uh, parents they cannot afford to give the full portion of uh, baby powder milk, so instead of putting four spoons, let's say, to each portion, they put three to mm -hmm. save some money. But this, after you know, accumulatively, it affects the health of, uh, of the babies. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge uh, problem, and also the problem of uh, vaccination of uh, the children, mm -hmm. because they cannot, because the the the, the, the fathers, are, you know, the, their parents, uh, they are thrown out of the security system, you know, of their insurance. Mm -hmm. They lose their insurance. They cannot um, mm -hmm. afford proper vaccination. So those are, the, let's say, some the big picture and some small uh, examples uh, of uh, the crisis. Now, in, in terms of the of how we counter the effects of the crisis, uh, one big thing the last uh, three years was all the political struggles of the Greek uh, people. You may have heard of this. Um, 
big moments of uh, mass mobilizations, clashes with the police that they brought two governments uh, down, the square occupation movement that participated, 28% uh, of the Greek population, that means 3 million people, or the shift or the expression of this radicalization of the Greek society towards the left. Okay, I know that internationally you hear more about the rising of the far right, of the neo-Nazis, but, the, but the, 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 the rising of the left, uh, of the radical left in Greece, it's much uh, higher and more grounded uh, to the society. With that, having said that, uh, neo-Nazis, Mitis, you know, the secret and the long arm, let's say, of the system. <laughs> okay, and it is a real threat. So, uh, apart from this, uh, because of the deterioration of the economic conditions that also they bring, let's say, a condition, they create an atmosphere of social barbarity. Mm -hmm. uh, and in order to, to stop this uh, happening, uh, people, have started the last three years, and especially after the Occupy movement uh, in Greece, uh, to organize themselves in different uh, fields to give collective solutions to common uh, problems and to counter the effects of uh, the crisis. So you have uh, social health centers, social pharmacies, social uh, assisting uh, lessons or classing, uh, classes, you know, to the uh, education in the education field, uh, you have uh, even social uh, music conservatoires, mm -hmm. uh, you have um, uh, social soup kitchens, uh, food distribution, collection and distribution that is, is self-organized by people in their neighborhoods. You have neighborhood uh, committees and assemblies against uh, the cuts and against heavy taxation, that they resist uh, the taxation. Um, what else? You have cultural centers uh, that have spread uh, and, also you have, and also you have this movement of the potatoes so-called the movement of the potatoes. It's a movement that uh, in reality connects, uh, bypasses the, the middlemen, okay, oh, it's yes, also yes, yes. a movement without mm. the, the middlemen, uh, that by, bypasses the middlemen, the merchants uh, that of, of the official market and connects directly the farm, the producers of agricultural farm, uh, you know, the agricultural products mm -hmm. with the urban consumers uh, mainly. Okay, and this has got, uh, it is the most success story, let's say, of the, um, uh, of the solidarity movement. Uh, and accordingly to some researches of the, uh, small of the Association of the Small Businessmen, 22% uh, um, of the Greek population have been uh, benefited by this uh, by this um, 22 yeah 22 percent which we speak that you know in a very vast uh, uh, kind of network okay mm -hmm. uh, some of the municipalities and, and uh, local boroughs uh, are involved and in, uh, but but in some other they're more autonomous uh, independent um, groups that they organize it okay they're more related to the movement uh, of uh, social solidarity but nevertheless you know they it is an effect that they can uh, counteract to the to the uh, to the continuing inflation in Greece, despite that we are in the sixth year of uh, of uh, recession. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so Solidarity for All, which is our organization, what it does in reality, it is, tries to connect all these different uh, small uh, initiatives. Uh, to organize, let's say, or um, clarify the know-how that has been uh, produced uh, to, the, to the point that you can, uh, you can outline the steps how each group of people can organize a social health center, for example. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Also, we to have to create a common platform for all this uh, movement that uh, and all these services, let's say, to be easily accessible by anyone in Greece, so they can log in on our website and they can find what is active accordingly to their needs in their uh, neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, and also to make it visible as a different way that society can organize itself. Because for us, the main target, it is to, uh, to 
to respond to the to the real to the real necessities and needs of the Greek uh, people. Okay, uh, and because we say this, we have two slogans. One it is that uh, we we should not leave anyone alone against the crisis, and the second is that uh, we have uh, to help the people to you know to stand on its feet in order to be able to struggle. Mm. Okay, mm. or to continue mm. struggling. Mm. So for mm. us, those are the, let's say the primary reasons. Uh, but equally important, it is uh, the pro the promotion of a way of understanding of uh, that uh, people organize themselves, which is uh, we produce a different political culture of self organization of uh, of uh, the people, which is completely different from what uh, the political cultures uh, so so far. Okay, they work with. Uh, uh, assemblies more horizontal in a more horizontal uh, way etc uh, a third kind of uh, side of what we're trying to do it is also to link these social struggles mm -hmm. and this small let's say in a small the lo on a small and local uh, level with the main political uh, target that it is to to subvert this uh, regime of the dictatorship, of the financial dictatorship of uh, the Troika and the, what we call the internal Troika, the Greek government that is composed by three parties, okay? Mm -hmm. And to eradicate the conditions that, uh, that uh, force uh, the people to, to strive just for uh, surviving. Okay, so this is the, poli the main political aim. So we will try both to respond in a, on a social level and on a political level to what it needs in order to uh, say to, to have a radical break and an end to give an end to the um, um, to this social and political destruction of the Greek uh, society. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? How long will it? go on, how long will it last, uh, what are you going to do in the next years maybe? In or the crisis. The crisis, yeah. And how can we support you? Right. What, for, in well, Europe, yeah. Right. Uh, I think now, I, I, I cannot say how much uh, it will uh, go on, because the experience of the last two, three years uh, shows that um, time Political, especially political time in Greece, it is very condensed. Okay, it's it means that many, 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 uh, in many moments, critical moments, they are condensed in the very, in the very small amount of uh, period of uh, time. Okay, very mm -hmm. critical mm -hmm. moments mm -hmm. about uh, okay. that okay. can go either this way or the other way. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was very obvious the last uh, the last two three years that you had many moments that you felt that uh, as part of the movement you felt now we get them they cannot overcome this crisis again. And the result of this was the two uh, that uh, had uh, we have uh, had yeah we managed to uh, to topple down two governments. Okay, on the other hand. What you realize, it is uh, the, clo the closer you get, you know, to success. It, it, it seems that the further this uh, goes, or to change, the further the change uh, goes. And this needs that uh, a radical break is not an easy thing. Okay, uh, and we try to prepare ourselves from what comes next. Uh, Another parameter is also uh, what, is, uh, what happens in the international field, mm. not uh, the struggle, yeah, the internal yeah. uh, the struggle within the Greek uh, territory, let's say. Okay, and uh, there you can have uh, you can have I don't know a result in the Italian uh, elections that may affect how things will go in uh, Greece, or you can have the currency wars that can then can, uh, can affect. Uh, the, you know what are the economic uh, situation that's going to be implemented in uh, in Greece, and this has got many. It, it is in a, it, it happens in many ways and through many uh, routes, let's say, and avenues. So uh, you cannot predict the next moment of conflict. You cannot predict exactly the way that this uh, will appear, the form that this uh, struggle uh, will uh, take. It is because it, it changes shapes as it develops. 
What we can say though, it is that it seems that now if, if the social issue was the main issue uh, in terms of, uh, of the subject, what was the, 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 the subject that counter, uh, that put its own power against the memorandum was the social, you know, the social level and the, um, it was the social subject, which means that uh, people from every route of life, they came down, they took on the streets because they realized their position in the society and they went mm -hmm. away, they broke with what, how, how imagined themselves to be to vote for the conservatives or to vote for the social democrats, mm -hmm. this has changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now it seems that it, the, the conflict has returned to the political field. Okay, so how far this will go, it, in my opinion, uh, it, it depends on two things. Uh, the first thing, it is uh, what kind of movements will there be developed and conflicts in order to destabilize the attempt of this government and the Troika to create, uh, to stabilize a condition of a state of emergency. Okay, uh, and this is where it comes all the international field and the national, uh, the international parameters and the national parameters too, as far as the enemy is concerned, okay, because they have internal conflicts uh, too. The second and the most important from our part, it is if, how quick we will be able to, to, to create, to form a political movement with strong basis and strong roots to all the Greek uh, society in order uh, to be able to implement change. Because it is one thing for, let's say, the radical left in Greece to get the power, okay, to be in the government, I mean, but mm. it's another thing yeah, to yeah. have the power mm. to change. Yeah, yeah. And without a, a, a large political movement of the people, of the Greek people, that uh, they can reconstruct the Greek society, the Greek economy and the Greek polity, Mm -hmm. The Greek constitution, the Greek political system, uh, to clean all this corruption and all what mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 has, they have been building, you know, the last uh, uh, 40 or more uh, years, uh, change cannot happen. Mm -hmm. And this is the difficult part. Okay, mm -hmm. so we may have, let's say, uh, you may be able to hear more. Uh, of uh, Greek uh, battles in the near future, but the, the, the result of these battles and how, fa how deep uh, they will cause uh, a change in Greece and in uh, Europe, uh, it depends on, um, on how well uh, we we'll organize ourselves both in a social level and on a political level. And something, and a last thing uh, I want to say is that uh, that now, what is different now than two years or three years uh, ago, or even one year ago, uh, it is the presence of the neo-Nazis. Mm. This complicate matters. Mm -hmm. And complicate matters because the neo-Nazis, they appear as a movement, and indeed, they do have some social uh, roots helped by the media, the state, and the police, mm -hmm. and the secret mm -hmm. services, okay? And because they play this dirty, in, in a dirty way, the, the politics, okay, um, complicate matters because, because they, if it is a social resistance uh, now, uh, until one year ago, all the social resistance was identified with the left. Now you may have hmm. social, let's say, upheavals, not upheavals, but social unrest, that also you may have presence or of the neo-Nazis or the neo-Nazis they will try to have uh, uh, to have a word on that and to try to claim something of that with the help of, um, of mm -hmm. uh, the system and this is something else that complicates matters in the in the, in the uh, as far as the form that the social discontent and outrage mm -hmm. will take mm -hmm. and this yeah, is, yeah. and also we return back to the importance of having a political movement that in one sense put, uh, this, uh, um, defines the framework and also sets up the agenda for change that will exclude and neutralize completely you know the neo-nazis yeah thank you very much yeah.